we have breaking news. Representative Omar, her daughter has now been suspended from the university. Put up the picture full mass. This information is just coming in. Isra Percy, the daughter of Representative Ilion Omar of Minnesota, is among multiple Bernard students who have been suspended for participating in a pro Palestinian encampment at Columbia University. The camp, which includes dozens of tents pitched on the campus, on the south lawn of the campus, in protest against Israeli government action in Gaza. This is a humanitarian stand, by the way has created standoff between administrators and students on the Ivy League campus. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Ms. Hersey posted on social media around 11.30 AM on Thursday that she was one of three students suspended so far for participating in the protest, which began on Wednesday, the day the university's president, Namat Shafiq, appeared before Congress to discuss anti-Semitism on campus. At the congressional hearing, Dr. Shafiq told lawmakers that she would enforce rules about unauthorized protest and anti-Semitism. Ms. Omar, who was on the committee that held the hearing, and who did not mention that her daughter was among the pro-Palestinian protesters, was one of several Democrats who questioned Ms. Shafiq about her actions toward Palestinian and Muslim students. Sounds like the university president or the university administrators, maybe a combination of both, have engaged in some level of retaliation. That's what it looks like. That is the appearance of it. Uh, once again, this is information just coming to us. We do not have any updates as of yet. But this is extreme. People, young people who are the future leaders of this nation are simply standing up for humanitarian efforts and humanitarian policy. That is what they're doing at the core of their protest is humanitarianism. They're being penalized and penalized in a significant way. Okay, uh, yes, my thoughts here. Yeah, this just feels awfully personal and vindictive yeah. against Ilhan Omar. And this is especially egregious coming off of the news that the USC valedictorian is not allowed to speak at her own Correct. graduation. And protesting, as you said earlier, Dr. Ritchie, is not illegal, even though parts of the country, including my state of Texas, are trying to make it so. But if these universities are supposed to be liberal indoctrination camps like the right would have you believe, I'm just not seeing it. This all feels awfully regressive rather than progressive. And freedom of speech and our freedom to protest is absolutely the crux of any democracy and it should be protected and this is unacceptable. Yeah, it's amazing to me how university campuses continue to say, we are powerless to keep racist people off of our campus because of freedom <laughs> of speech. And then when their own students are standing up, utilizing, exercising that same freedom, all of a sudden they find ways to get rid of them. Okay, we'll bring you updates, promise you they will come.